Nice game. Just the man I was looking for. Jalen Brunson and quickly in for Derrick Rose and then for Charlotte Daniels he's checked in for Plumlee and Oubre subbed in for Gordon Hayward down to five on the shot clock the kick out to Rozier the shot by McDaniels no good the Knicks leading by 17 passes it to Boss basket is good he'll get a chance for one more at the line the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. And not to mention the fact they've been living at the line. I don't know if you want to say embellishing contact, but they're certainly selling the fouls for sure. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Out to the right wing. Ball from long range. It's good the assist that time from Smith. Ball's got five points so far. Pass to Smith. Kicks the ball. Here's Washington. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. That shot wide open. That's their third straight make off an assist. And pass the ball. Oubre on the wing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And Randall has got the ball here for the New York Knicks. 16-point lead. And this is the first time matched up with the Hornets this season. The game is the first of a three-game season series for these clubs, both looking to take round one. The first time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate you're better, and that could make it easier down the road. To the inside, Ross, and the powerful one-handed slam. Well, it's no secret that MP was a very controversial pick, Greg, by this team. The debate between him and Shep Owens will be argued for a long time, I'm sure. And you can see both sides of the argument a player who does the little things versus an athletic monster with upside the fan base though has made it. for the hornets they come into this one following a loss to atlanta yeah and, and the second chance points guys mean a lot over the course of a game and they just had so few opportunities and i think that was their achilles heel yeah i agree hard to win games when every offensive possession is one shot then a jog back the other way to play defense Here's Boss. Gets it off. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. motivation for him. Clark, do you think losing a play-in game two years in a row has a lasting effect? Oh, I think it definitely does, Kevin. Has to leave a bad taste in you. The pass to Rogier, and they're running. Jumps up. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. 
Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. The nine-foot shot. Robinson with the block. To the middle. Boss gets the bucket. Boss has got five points in the quarter. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Goodwin passes to Hayward. Goodwin sets a screen for Hayward. The kick out to Rozier. It's three pointers off the mark. The Knicks leading by 15. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Plumlee sets the pit for Rozier. Hands it from downtown. Rozier's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Charlotte. He's certainly starting to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game, his second in this quarter. Quickly the pass to Boss. Outside Robinson. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me They've gone after this win a little bit more. And Robinson throws it down hard. A, a real challenge to guard in pick and rolls. Barrett's size and ability to distribute the rod. Here is Rozier. And the Hornets miss again. Here's Boss, covered by Oubre. Boom, he jams it straight down. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Hayward from outside. And again, the Hornets missing. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And they've repeatedly probed inside. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. New York up by 33 points as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for them. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll return shortly. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boss has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Oh, good on the three. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. And Terry Rozier is one competitive dude. He has a lot of fire in his game. You can hear it when you listen to him in interviews. Shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know, you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now, Barrett, he's got seven. The feed to Randall, and he makes good on the layup. Randall's got 13. Washington with a screen on Rose. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw. That's an awful ball. What did you see there, Rex? Washington embraced the physical contact and then worked his way through it. 
All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for New York. You know, all game long, they've imposed their... The pass to Plumlee. Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Boss. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And it's now 26 points for Boss. Passes it to Ball. Fires for three. Hits it from three-point range. Ball's got seven points here in this quarter. He's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. The basket counts and one. He put it past him, guys, to eventually start hitting those, given what he did in the first half. Randall passes to Boss. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Boss has got 28. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Oubre outside. Plumley with the screen. The 11-footer. Smith finds Plumley, and it's slammed in by Plumley. Making strides in this area is Dennis Smith Jr. Looking to dish it, which makes his team better. Randall outside. He's feeling it. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Randall. So. Give me guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Here's Boss. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So I can't stop you. Throw you with their heads, baby. Numbers that they can definitely improve upon. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the lines, they would immediately take a step back. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. That really has been the difference. I mean, they've been the better team in transition. He kicks it to Hayward. Nailed from three-point land. Hayward's got seven points. Goodwin with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. A shot by Hayward wide open, and it's the Hornets another three. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Pass to Boss. It counts, and the foul. Crumley, and so he's picked up his... Great last offseason, the Hornets to score. They think their time is now, and they want to make a bold move with the new hire. Oubre outside. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Inside. Count that one from Toppin. Toppin's got his second bucket tonight. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Good one dishes to Oubre. Count it. Oubre's got eight points. Crafty. And here is quickly. Now the pass to Johnson. Here's Boss. Up and in on the way. Boss has got 37. And not quite as aggressive. Oubre outside. And another three for Charlotte. It's been this way since halftime. Put in the gas, MP. Be in there. It's to Rogier. Lent it go with a three. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. So hard, it's actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. On the court for the Hornets, they've got LaMelo Ball. Oubre out there with Washington. Then it's Dennis Smith, and it's Rozier. That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? By LaMelo Ball. Ball's got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside. Looking for McDaniels. He gets it there. And you cannot leave anybody open on Ball's team because this guy is excellent at finding his teammates. 
That one misses. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Rose passes to Boss. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Paul, who brings the ball up for Charlotte. And pointer nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. Now a lot of walking. Two shots. Shot clock at six. Shoots from 14. They get it back. Robinson. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Let's look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the Knicks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never change. Quarter. Rose passes to Grind. To the middle. And finishes it off with a one-handed jam. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Passes the ball, shoots, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Tell you what, the competitive spirit of ball, I absolutely love it. This guy is relentless. There's a screen by Robinson. From outside the arc, it drops. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. So no problem for New York as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.